Hey all, Fred Rojas here and welcome to ne the next following direct. If you are in America, that means today is probably a big deal for you because it's Super Bowl Sunday. Um, if you're not much of a sports fan like me, you know, you're just going to be kind of watching the underdog story and seeing if it's any fun. And if it's not, I'm just going to turn it off and probably play video games. But... Um, I, I'm sorry I didn't have anything come out this week as far as content other than a direct. Uh, the real reason being is I'm working on a huge project at work. And I'll get into that in a minute because that's actually the topic of today's uh, relatively brief direct, I would hope to believe, I would, I would think. Um, but I am still on track to have the next episode of uh, Cron CD coming out over, uh, it's going to be over the um, 1990s, like basically a retrospective of, sorry, the year 1990 before we go into 1991 for Cron CD. So that should still be coming out when. Wednesday, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday without problem. Um, and I also wanted you to know that I did not do a video game purist either. So like it's been killing me. And what's been killing me is this project at work and uh, in a good way. Like it's something I like working on. I'm, I'm not complaining. Um, it was a pretty big task and whether I didn't budget enough time for it at first because um, I didn't really know the perspective or whether it's just a daunting task remains to be seen. But this last week I've put quite a few hours into it at work, but I'm also on call and doing various other things, so I can't specifically focus on that project at work. Um, so it's rendered me having to do it um, on the weekends. So that's what I've been doing this weekend, putting in about eight to 10 hours uh, so far. And uh, it made me think about something. So. Um, we often hear from people in the video game industry, uh, you know, that uh, they, they, I don't know anything about making video games. And then it's immediately followed by a statement that suggests you're making recommendations as if you're a person who knows how to make a video game. And I always find that hilarious, right? Because that's really what exists in this world, right? A bunch of pundits who don't know anything about what they're actually criticizing. They just, uh, and, and that's fine. I'm not saying they need to. Like, that's the second part of this uh topic or the point um, but they don't know anything about what they're creating the same I think is true largely of film critics and book critics they've never actually written something themselves other than like on the critical range right they've never if they often um, critique uh, fictional books they've never written a fictional book if they often critique movies they've never made a movie or if they did it sucked right um, and that just seems to be the way of things uh, do I think that means they shouldn't be critics no actually because what they're good at is being a critic if they're good at making movies movies, they would be making movies, they would be making video games, but they're good at being a critic. So they should keep doing what they're doing and ne'er the tween shall meet. What I don't like is the speculation on what that process is like. So let me give you a perspective real quick where I wouldn't say I do, I've never claimed to, but I maybe have a better feeling than some other people. Um, I work for Lab Information Systems. Uh, it's uh, the, the acronym is LIS in some parts of the industry. And Basically, what that means is um, I assist in database build development and tech analysis of automation for the laboratory. So whether you're running tubes through uh, uh, an assembly line that later go into instruments, then get scanned, run, and then get back into the lab system, which ends up in your chart and yada, yada, yada for your doctor and for you to see. Um, that's where I work. Um, and I, I largely work in billing and reporting. Those are my strengths. Um, but I also have started with database build. And what we're doing right now is we're moving lab systems. So think about it as like a port job. We're moving from the PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation 5. And that's going to take a while. Um, and what we're doing right now is what is known as data collection or discovery. Um, actually, I think we're beyond discovery and we're into yeah, data collection. So what we're doing right now is saying, okay, we need to build this system. And we have our existing system. But now we need to start co connecting the dots, assembling the pieces. Um, actually, not even assembling the pieces. We are capturing the pieces. So this big project I've been working on is literally taking data elements that exist in our current system and, can, and just making them aware to the new system so that we can then take those elements and assemble them into our new system. Um, but it should be noted, and I think this is something that can give some perspective on development. Um, the new system is better and worse in certain ways. And I don't know what those ways are yet. We've not really been shown how the new system build works. Right now, we're just assembling it. So an easy thing for me to say is, okay, one of the tests we run is sodium. It checks your sodium levels. 
So we have an element that's sodium in our lab system, and it's got all different kinds of things in our current lab system. You know, what kind of containers we can accept, how the automation works, where it's supposed to go, what instrument it runs on, how the data works, how it's configured. Um, but at its very core basis, it is just a single element. So think about it at that level. It is a sodium test, and it has all these different pieces to it. But we don't even care about those pieces yet. Right now, all we're saying is, we need to make sure sodium is accounted for in the new system. And then if sodium has different versions of it, like maybe there's sodium, but there's also sodium on different tissue type that has different build, right? We have to build it differently because it's on like blood or urine. You know, you've got to just let it know that, okay, well, here's sodium for blood and here's sodium for urine and here's sodium, right? And you're just assembling the elements. And I bet that's a lot of what a port job, like moving, like saying, okay, we're going to convert ratchet and clank PS4 to ratchet and clank PS5. And we're going to do a remaster, but all that's doing is upping the elements. The gameplay is not going to change. You hear that word gameplay is not going to change. What that means is the actual elements are going to update, the graphical elements, but the game itself is assembled the same as before. And so you just have to move those elements over and make sure they work in the new code. That's kind of what we're doing right now. And so I thought that was kind of cool. Like I'm bogged down with work. It kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> this beer I'm about to have, just one, is going to be like make my night, right? Like as I chill out and finally just settle in and watch a football game uh, or play video games or both. Um, and, uh, it just made me think, like, I'm working on this tough project, but it can kind of give some perspective as to probably what development in video games is like, even if it's just a very basic core. So anyway, with that, uh, the database element build uh, for my part of the spreadsheet is done. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'll put a bow on it and get ready to turn it in tomorrow. Um, that means I can switch focus now and uh, not have to dedicate my nights and weekends uh, to that. And I can switch back to Cron CD and playing games and having fun with it. In the future, I do have some really fun plans as to shorter topics, though, that can be compatible with weekly, whereas it's more bi-weekly or monthly with stuff like Cron CD or my longer form stuff. So with that, let's call it a very short time. If you're watching the Super Bowl or you watched the Super Bowl, hope you enjoyed it. And until next week, this is Fred saying peace, out.